Hi, welcome back to the Recap Room. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a murder mystery film titled The Weekend Away. Buckle up, there are spoilers ahead. Beth, a new mom, and her best friend Kate decide to take a girl's trip to Croatia. As Beth gets off her flight, she meets Zane, her taxi driver. He makes light conversation with Beth, and the two get along. As he drops Beth off at the apartment she will be staying at, he refuses to charge Beth any money and gives her his card. He tells her to call him if she needs a taxi during his stay in Croatia. As she is thanking him, Kate shows up and the two hug each other before entering the huge apartment complex. Beth analyzes the apartment and asks Kate who is paying for their vacation. Kate tells her that she's getting a divorce and will be using her ex-husband cards to pay for everything. To thank Kate for everything that she has done for her, Beth gives her a gift box that contains a necklace inside. Kate thanks Beth and goes to wear it, but some of the beads come loose. The two friends get ready for dinner while Beth video calls her husband and her child. They talk for a while before Kate comes to grab Beth and they leave. On their way out, they come across the creepy apartment owner, but Beth does not think much of it. At the dinner table, Kate orders some of the most expensive dishes and wine, and although Beth is reluctant, she does not say much, assuming that her friend needs to let out all of her frustrations. Beth then apologizes to Kate for not being able to be there for her during her divorce, but Kate brushes it off and tells her that she had a baby and was occupied and asks Beth how her marriage is. Beth says that it is fine, but Kate senses that it is not and tells Beth to get a divorce if she is not happy. Soon, their dinner is over, and Kate receives a call. She goes away to answer it and starts fighting on the call. At the same time, a waiter comes up to Beth and tells her that Kate Cards has been rejected. Kate tells Beth that Jade found out about his credit cards and cancelled them. After paying for their food out of their pocket, they leave. Beth calls Sang once again, and he takes the two friends to the club. Beth makes small talk with Sang before they enter the club. There, Kate pays for their drinks before she points out that two men have been staring intensely at them. She approaches them and pushes Beth to join her. When Beth hesitates, Kate tells her that she needs to meet someone new and sleep with him as her marriage has not been going well. To avoid any arguments, Beth sits with them, but as the night goes on, Beth begins to feel dizzy and before she knows it, she passes out. The next morning, when Beth wakes up, she's unable to recall what happened the previous night. Still feeling drowsy, Beth goes to freshen herself up. Once she has changed into a fresh pair of clothes, Beth calls out for Kate, but when she does not respond, Beth searches the apartment for her. Although there were signs that Kate got back to the apartment the previous night, such as open condom packets, wine and clothes strewn all over the place, there is no sign of Kate. Beth then enters the kitchen and discovers a broken wine glass with blood around it. Worried, Beth calls Kate's phone repeatedly, but receives no response. Panicked, Beth calls her husband and shares her worries with him. He tells her not to worry and that Kate has the tendency to be careless. He then asks Beth if they argued last night, which would have caused Kate to disappear. However, Beth tells him that she is unable to recall as her memory of the previous night is pretty fuzzy. She then goes to the landlord, Sebastian, and asks him if he has seen Kate, but he tells her that he hasn't and tells her that he will be charging them extra for parting with the two men that came home with them. Beth seems confused as she does not recall anything but thanks him and leaves. She goes to the police station and meets Officer Pavich. Pavich does not take Beth seriously and dismisses her concerns, saying that a report cannot be filled until at least 24 hours have passed. Feeling alone and helpless, Beth calls Zane, who then takes her back to the club that they went to last night. There, they talk to a bartender, who tells them that the two men they were seen with are known escorts around the area. Beth deduces that Kate must have hired them to get Beth out of her route. The next day, she arranges a meeting with the escorts with Zane's help, but the two talk about their spouses. The escorts arrive and soon as they see Beth, they run. However, Saint catches them and threatens them to tell the truth. They then tell them that they stayed in the apartment until 3 a.m. and then left with Kate's bag. They swear that they did not drug her. They then tell Beth that they pawned the bag and Beth goes to retrieve the bag. Beth tells Saint that she was drugged 
since that is the only explanation for her passing out. Beth once again goes to the station and meets Officer Kovac, who helps Beth file a report. After Beth gives her all the information, Kovac asks Beth to check if she was assaulted. At the hospital, Beth gets tested. Beth then calls Jay, Kate's ex-husband, and asks him about Kate, but he's dismissive about it, just like Rob, and tells her that this disappearing act is typical of Kate's behavior. He also mentions to Beth that he has not talked to Kate in a while, because all of their communication has to happen through their lawyers. Beth then makes her way back to the apartment and finds Sebastian clearing out their apartment. He tells her that checkout time has passed and that they need to empty the apartment. Beth tells him that Kate is missing and that she's not leaving Croatia until she is found. He offers Beth a cheap room in his apartment and tells her that she can stay there until she finds Kate. Exhausted, Beth lays on the bed and puts Kate's phone on charge. She turns Kate's phone on, but discovers that it requires a face ID to unlock the device. That night, as Beth leaves the room, Sebastian invites Beth to have dinner with him, but she declines and tells him that she already has plans with Zane. Outside, Beth greets Zane, but is suddenly surprised by Rob. He tells her that he left their daughter with a babysitter so that he could be there for his wife. As Zane leaves, Rob begins to yell at Beth, causing her to cry. He apologizes and reassures her that they will find Kate. Back in the room, Beth receives a call from the police who tell her that Kate has been found dead and that she needs to come in to identify her body. At the police station, she's told that they need to run an autopsy on Kate's body to determine whether it was an accident or murder. That night, Rob leaves for London and Pavich takes Beth to see Kate's body one last time. As soon as she is left alone, Beth unlocks Kate's phone with the help of a dead Kate. She excuses herself to go to the bathroom and opens Kate's phone. She discovers that Kate and Rob had been having an affair. Shocked, Beth goes back to the apartment and calls Jay, who confirms that Kate was indeed having an affair with her husband. He tells her that he did not say anything to Beth because she was having a baby. Beth then calls Rob crying and confronts him. He tries apologizing, but Beth finds herself trapped and tells him that the police already suspect her and this gives them the perfect motive. The next morning, Pavich and Kovac arrest Beth and interrogate her. Although Kate denies everything, they keep questioning everything she says. Soon, she's laid out as they don't have enough evidence. Once again, back at the apartment, Beth wonders how the police find out about the affair when she hadn't told anyone other than Jay yet. She finds a few cameras and recording devices hidden in her room. She then goes out to meet Sebastian and manages to steal his keys. She goes into his room and discovers that he has been recording and watching all of his tenants. She then sees that there is a video from the night of the murder there. She watches it and sees that the escorts did leave after stealing Kate's bag. Kate follows them in a taxi, only to come back moments later in another car. All of a sudden, Beth hears Sebastian coming back. Unable to escape in time, she hits him with the door and starts to run. Sebastian begins to explain why he spies on people, but Beth is not willing to listen. As Sebastian begins to delete the recorded videos, Beth pushes him and he gets knocked out as he hits his head. Beth then runs out and leaves with Zane, who is waiting outside for her. They go to the taxi driver who picked Kate up outside of the apartment and he tells them that Kate got dropped off at the police station. Just then, since Beth is known as a person of interest, someone calls the police. As they arrive, she notices that the car she has seen on the video belonged to Pavage. Zane tells her to run and call her lawyer. The two begin running, but Zane is caught. Pavich catches up with Beth on a rooftop and attacks her. Before he can do anything, Kovac shows up and points her gun at Pavich. Beth pushes Pavich and he falls to his death. Beth is declared innocent and is given her passport back, so she's free to leave. Kovac shows her CCTV footage that shows that Pavich did indeed drop Kate off the apartment and push her into the water, killing her. Beth goes back home and breaks up with Rob. One day, as she goes to Rob's place to drop her daughter off with him, he begs her to forgive him and get back together. But Beth rejects him and asks him for the spare keys to her car back. Rob tells her to check his jacket. When Beth checks his jacket, she finds one of the beads from the necklace she gave Kate in his pocket. She goes to the bathroom and calls Kovac and tells her who the real culprit is. Still on the phone with Kovac, Beth confronts Rob and he confesses to flying to Croatia to meet with Kate. 
He tells her that Kate's death was purely accidental, as he hit her, causing her to hit her head on a rock before falling into the water. Beth reveals that Kovac is still on the phone, and she overheard everything. Rob tries to attack her. Beth hits him on the head, grabs her daughter, and leaves as cop cars come into sight, who then arrest Rob for the murder of Kate. And that was it for the recap, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and be sure to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our uploads.